Uh, the Olympic Games mean a lot because it's my first and it's everybody's dream, every child's dream, every athlete's dream to be an Olympian. So it's a big game and it's the biggest game on land so it means a lot to me as an athlete. Yeah, there are so many things that uh, uh, I've seen that I can do better, especially at the, far, at the start of my race. I did not have a very good start in the 10.02 race. So that's what we're working on majorly when we're in camp. So we hope that you can go sub 9 or sub 99 or 98. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's my acceleration part. The first part of my race is not good. It wasn't good for the last like three races I ran. So we're, we're working on perfecting that skill and then everything will be fine. No, uh, I'm used to it because I've been getting the attention since I started athletics. So, but I thank Nock and uh, the Federation for keeping us in the camp because now <laughs> nobody gets in. So we are focused now on training and uh, just training and training and training. My target at the Olympics is to handle each race as it comes, but my main aim is to break records. I, <laughs> I pray that God gives me, the, gives me the strength to break records in every race that I run in the Olympics. Uh, yeah, Kenya is not known for sprints because it's been well known for the long and middle distance. But now we have already changed that because if you see people, are, there's so much support coming through and people are now believing that people can, uh, Kenyans can run. So I've already, I believe that me and Mark have already changed that notion. So just us to go and perfect this skill and show now the world that Kenya has sprinters. I started with rugby back in high school and then the journey was good. I loved rugby, but then I was too fast for people in the field because <laughs> these guys were just chasing me and not touching me and not catching me. They're just failing side by side and I was just going through them. So I decided to move from rugby to sprinting to try my luck. And five years down the line, I'm now an Olympian. <laughs> Most athletes do long jump, but I can't do long jump. Cause, but I, it, I'll try long jump, <laughs> actually, after I re, not after I retire. Most probably, I'll, I'll do it as fun and see how, my, how far I can jump. I also run the 200 meters. I've run so many 200 meters since I started. But this year we decided to focus on 100 meters because I was having a little problem with the curve. So we decided to leave the 200 meters alone so and focus on the 100 meters. <laughs> Uh, I'm feeling great actually. My training is coming through well. Now we have like three weeks to the games and now there'll be a week of traveling so we're counting that week off. So basically we have like two weeks of preparation and I feeling, I'm feeling fine. So I'm hoping that uh, we get to the stadium first, to the village and then to the stadium and then to the start. Once you get to the start then everything will be fine. So I expect very good times from me. I'm expecting to break records because <laughs> I feel fast.